It is my distinct honor to welcome your excellencies, royal fathers, esteemed dignitaries, distinguished guests, and beloved sons and daughters of the Bible. To this historic occasion of the coronation and presentation of the instrument of office to the particular Columbus of the Bible, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Akilo Yogolabi Olakulei, Tabiesio, Kadekalori, Tibata Perete. Today we are not only celebrating the ascension of a new monarch, we are also honoring a great cultural legacy that has defined the great Ibadan city and has tried for centuries. Our esteemed governor, His Excellency, Engineer Sheikh is not only a son of the soil, but a black man at back. This celebration is a testament to his visionary leadership and unwavering dedication to preserving and promoting the value of cultural everything. As Nigerians, we are also privileged to have as a president His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Zinubuye of TCFR, who has demonstrated his commitment to the nation's heart and cultural sector, which His Excellency has described as being essential for the education of children while recognizing his importance in defending the real heritage and promoting his rich cultural diversity. I also extend this year of to governors, dignitaries and esteemed guests from across the country who have joined us to honor that place and the state. I see this opportunity to thank the Nuba Dari Council and the Central Council of the Indigenous for your unity, commitment and love for your Bataman, which is instrumental to actualizing this grand celebration. We hereby acknowledge your invaluable contribution to the preservation of our tradition. As we unite to honor our monarch and celebrate our cultural identity, we salute His Excellency, who has placed a billion of our rich tradition and heritage. Let us enjoy this glorious occasion as we commit to building a future that honors our past, celebrates our present, and inspires generations to come. Okay, but I'll take you out. I thank you all for your presence here today. The Superior Majesty of Akiloi, Onalere, Oonabi, Onlatulei, was born on the 5th of July 1935 in Okuba Village, within the proximity of Akoro, in the present day on our local government area of Oyo State, to Pak Ishola, Dr. Oulabi, and Madam Adela Awendi, Adila Rok, Amoniyate, Oulabi. The family has its ancestral homestead within the ancient city of Ibadan, Atitabale, Elugwebe. He started his primary school education in the village at St. James's Primary School in Kiyakoro, and subsequently moved to Ibadan, where he attended Islamic school and later Sabrita Primary School, however, where he completed his primary education. He taught as a primary school teacher at Kuwata Dai in a Kubo area of Ibadan. Before he gained admission to Ilaba Technical Institute for secondary school education in professional study in painting and artwork. He worked at the Ministry of Works, Western Region Government in Ibadan from 1959, starting as a third class guy. While working, he gave admission to the Yama College of Technology to study and obtain his ordinary national diploma OMB and higher national diploma in building. Upon completion, he transferred his service to the Nigerian Army Corps of Engineers, where he was recruited in 1970 through the Direct Short Service Commission as a second meeting and serving in the League in Sakura under General Alicia Ambassador as his commanding officer. He later served in various positions and locations across the country, rising to the ranks of a position of a major. As an officer, he held various positions, including commanding officer of the Army Maintenance Regiment in Jos, Kaduna, and Lagos. He retired voluntarily from the Nigerian Army as a major on 1st of October 1979, following the completion of a remarkable 21 year career in religious service. Upon his engagement from military service, his journey into the world of business commerce, when he founded and incorporated Fakon Nigeria Limited, a building company.
Your Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Kola Ahmed Tudugu, PCFR, they will be represented by the Honorable Minister of Power, Chief Bayo Abu His Excellency, the Executive Governor of the United States, my brother, Edna G. McGillian. I need me to appreciate and recognize the governors of Lagos State, represented by the Chief of Staff, the governor of Osu State, represented by the Deputy Governor, the Scholar Agency, the governor of Olobo State, represented by the Deputy Governor, His Excellency Dr. Adelani, and former governors of of your state particularly. Let me recognize His Excellency Senator Rashid Haraga and His Excellency General Uzael Kukola retired. His Excellency the Deputy Governor of your state, Marisa Abubayi Abubayi Abawa. Of course, the former first lady of your state, Anaga Kutiak Nadoga. And all other former deputy governors that are here present, all members of the National Assembly, both serving and past, members of the Ohio State House of Assembly, permit me to use the speaker at the point of process to all of you, all other eminent and distinguished personalities, particularly his eminence. This is the time of Sokoto Anami, Tomodo Sad, Rubaka CFR MNI, His Imperial Majesty, the Army of Ife, of the Adeyemi, and the Rukodosu. I will use you at the point of policy to all the packages that are here. And of course, our newly installed Olu Bado of the Padrela, His Imperial Majesty, and all other loyal magistrates are here, all commissioners, service commanders, all other executives and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press. It's indeed an honor and a pleasure for me to be here today. I am here representing myself and all the 17 thousand governors of Nigeria we recognize that the employment of an all society remains a significant occasion in the history of every community it signifies the dawn of a new era and has from time in order been the yardstick of measuring the stability of our traditional institutions it is no surprise, therefore, that the process leading to the situation and emergence of this new 44th Republic of our own appeal, Olakulei, makes the valuable input from the relevant approved authorities and the eminent Oku Gabaja family in the Ichubale area of Shadonan. On this note, I join others in welcoming you all to this auspicious occasion of the installation of our own as the 44th Olubar of the This ceremony marks a significant milestone in the rich history and cultural heritage of the Father, West Africa's largest city and our great nation in Nigeria. Congratulations to all the sons and daughters of the land on this historic moment in a special way. I want to congratulate my brother, His Excellency, Engineer Shehima Kibe, the Executive Governor of the United States, for this momentous occasion. I want to appreciate you 
I want to thank you. I want to wish you well. I want to wish you new pregnancy well. I want to wish all the servants that God has God bless the Father. Well. God bless the Lord God, God bless the Lord God bless the Lord Thank you very much for listening to me and God bless you. And the presentation of the staff of office. And our own and the Antinoye. Anna Kuneli. Inge. Anna Kuneli. The past. This Friday, 12th of July, 2024. It gives me the immense pleasure to be part of this historic occasion. The coronation and presentation of other office for his Victoria Majesty, of Omolati Akinoye, Anna Kulei. It is an honor to us, the party third of the Badon, of this ancient city of the Badon. I would like to extend my warm congratulations to His Imperial Majesty of Allah Kulei on his ascension to the throne of his ancestor. Of Allah Kulei's journey to the throne. It is a truly remarkable story. He became the brother of the family in 1983 during the reign of Holy Mother Ashani Khan and began his story for this first film of Holy Mother as the Jagu in 1986. We took him 98 years and then he spent his birth the perfect trust in the Zenith. Of the garden. This ceremony around another airport in the main history of the United National Institution in the Bahamas, indeed in Nigeria and beyond. What we are celebrating today is not just the ascension of Abia Siona Kulei, but the enduring tradition and the senior of the Bahamas. The nation remains grateful for this abiding legacy of the Oliver of Venus, which has been a beacon of stability with its unique perception to the train, a tradition established since 1851. The whole country has learned from this rock of the controversial, trouble free. We have a kinship model. It is indeed a role model to other communities in our land. We must recognize the immense responsibility that comes with this sacred office. And we pray that God will grant your majesty the wisdom, the guidance, and the strength to lead the Ibadan people and all residents to the gladness justice and compassion. As the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I am indeed proud to be part of this celebration. I am confident that Your Majesty will continue and the living government of our state. Number one citizen of the mind of our state. And you're not this John and the young man.